Good morning, everyone. Out here on the Sacramento River, going for that salmon. So this is my fourth trip out here. One in early August. Don't really want to count it too much. But the last two, definitely saw people catching them. I didn't get one. It's bothering me. I want to get my first river salmon. Chris is looking for his first of the year. Uh, trying this spot out first this morning. Got some people on shore there. Uh, it just gives us intel, see if they're in the area. That's why I picked this spot. If they're catching them, I can move up river later, try and follow those fish. If no one catches them here for you know, an hour or two, then I'll start working my way down river. Uh, I got some brads, killer fish, sardine wrapped. Chris had a glow in the dark one. So he's dropping up. down right now. Good movement. Oh yeah. All right, let's get one. Look at this one I got that I really like this like look at that color. So we're anchored up, got the Brad's killer fish on with a bunch of garlic, bloody tuna, croquier scent. Drop it down on the bottom, it's 15 feet deep right here, and let the current pull the lure. So the two ounce works fine, huh? So it's been about a half hour now. I'm gonna go ahead and check the lines, uh, switch out the uh, killer fish with some new ones that are soaking in the Procure. Put these ones in my little canister bin there. Put no, new uh, Procure on it, let them soak in that. Also checking the line, make sure there's no weeds on it. Um, yeah, drop them back down. So I'll do about every 30 to 45 minutes. We've had lines in for one hour now. Nothing, no bites. We haven't seen one on shore yet. So that's discouraging. Um, you know, these are the, the regulars, so when they catch one, they're not hooting and hollering, so you have to look out for it. We've been looking, nothing. It's really quiet, boat jigging, nothing for them. So, sun's coming up right now. Hopefully we can uh, see some action here, and if not in the next maybe 45 minutes, then we'll probably start heading down river, see if we can come across some salmon. Man, unfortunately, no salmon here. No bites, no signs of them, nothing on the shore here. Slower day. You know, the fish come in waves up the river. So um, we're gonna start heading down, try and find some. Uh, we're gonna troll doing that. Excited to do that. Here's what we're using. Uh, we're gonna have to use two of these. Pitbull tackle, basically Dodgers 11 inch. Those are gonna be behind cut plugs. Brad's cut plugs there. And then we'll be trolling two other lines, some pyramid flashers and some silver trons. So two of each. And yeah, we'll head down river and start doing that. Hopefully we can find some. So like I said, it's slow on the Sacramento River for salmon generally. Uh, this is my fourth trip of the year. If I were to guess, probably on my 18th hour right now out there. Haven't had one bite yet. Uh, I do this because I like the challenge. It's fun when you get one. And one of the worst things that can happen is when you get a strike, you know, a bite, and you don't get the fish. It's about to happen. Oop! Oh. What? You just got a huge pull on your horses. You saw it go like oh, that. Oh, all the way down. All the way down. No way. Really? It went like that? No yeah. oh, shit. Can't you watch the replay? Well, we just got bit. Boom. Uh, I didn't see it. Chris saw it. And then I checked the footage through the GoPro app on my phone, you know, from the camera. Sure enough, confirmed, bite. I'm gonna reel it up, check, see if there's any uh, marks on the bait on it, but we're about to go troll right now. I think we have to try another 30 minutes or so here since that happened. Wow, it's so hard to get bites out here. It's just so unfortunate when they don't hook on. Ah, still no fish on shore over there. That was the first sign. 
See, they're quiet over there. I see one. School's coming through. Yeah, yeah, Chris. Coming through. We're gonna reel up, go troll. 9.20 right now. Time sure flies out here. <laughs> uh, all right, we're gonna go up river now. We got that bite. We saw them catch one on shore. We like the spot up there. It's a 10 minute drive only, not too long. We'll give it a try for a good hour. All right, let's do it. So we just arrived to the trolling grounds. We got a six ounce weight on for the Silvertron and an eight ounce weight on for the cup plug. Let me drop all the lines in. Let's get trolling. All right, so go faster. Huh? Go faster. Okay, that looks pretty good right there. So we're trolling down river. The current's going about one to one and a half miles per hour. Uh, we were trolling between about 2.9 and 3.3 miles per hour. That's when we got the desired action out of so our So we're gonna room. cut this off and put it into the cut plug. I don't have tuna with me, but I don't see why this shouldn't work good. See how this guy looks. So faster. We need to go faster. Yep. A little slower. But there, that speed's good now. Now look at it, that's what you want. See how that's acting? that nice okay okay the silver tone looks good the Dodgers rod tips have the right action so I feel like we're pretty good. Fishy's down there. We're, we're like, feel really good right now. We're like along the bottom. All right. We're all along the bottom right now. So the two of us would rotate. One of us would drive the bow and announce the depth while the other guy adjusts the rods, letting line out to go deeper, reeling up to go shallower depending on the depth that we're going on. It's really important to go along the bottom as best you can. So work the lines, watch your rod tips for what the action's doing, anything peculiar comes up on it, check it, take the weeds off most likely. Um, so yeah, work the pole, stay productive. Oh, oh. big white orange marks down there. Got one. Neutral it. Okay. 
Lifting. Get his head. Yeah, we go. It's a big one, guys. Oh yeah. Whew. Yes. Okay, ready? Yep. Uh -oh. oh yeah. Oh yeah. Did you see the bite? I saw the bite. No. Wow, huh? How cool is that? That's a big fish. Yeah, it is. Hell yeah. All right. Let's get him back down. All right, guys. I've been carrying around this skill with me for a while. I'm doing a giveaway. Whoever guesses the exact weight of that salmon, Chris and I are going to do our best. Um, we'll win this uh, scale. So comment below. Put in your best guess. Uh, two decimal places. So I don't know. You know, guess 25.94 pounds. You know, so make it like that. Um, yeah. I'm so excited. Finally got one. I'm going to give it away and I'm going to know what it is and I'll let you guys know once we get a winner. Not as big as we thought. So the rod started acting weird. I went and picked up the pole and the line was over to the left up on the surface. I pulled back on the rod and I could feel the weight of the fish in it pulling and then it just kind of came off. So weird. It's like I grabbed it and started moving towards the boat up towards the surface and never really got hooked well. It's after 12 now. Let's see exactly what it is. 12.15. Um, I think this is going to be our last troll on uh, this spot. Probably been doing it for two hours. Kind of just want to see what's going on down river, and we're gonna head back in like an hour. So we wanted to give a few one other spot to try. But productive. I mean, we got a fish. Feel really good about that. Nice big one too. So I think we can do one more. Let's see. So now we're in our second location for trolling. Same setup. Uh, we went up and down river in this location. Uh, we'll probably try it for about one hour. Uh, no luck in this spot. Oh, it's getting hot, like 130. And I don't mean the bite, the temperature. We're just gonna go to the end, about halfway up from what you can see there. Then we'll go ahead and troll back down this area, back into the launch ramp. So, last little bit here. Hopefully we can get Chris one. If any of the rods go off, we'll let him take it. We're marking some fish. It's hard to tell exactly you know, if they're salmon or whatnot, but looks good here. Water temperature is 65 degrees today, end of September, so getting close to the high 50s and then it should be really on. So, well, we're heading in. We did it. I'm so excited to finally get that first salmon out here. It feels good. It's gonna be a good drive home. Just getting that one, nice big one. Feels real good. Uh, this is what we got it on. It's Pitbull Tackle. What do you call it? It was a 360 flasher. That was the uh, cut plug right there. That was the setup. Eight ounce weight we had on there. Going along the bottom. So, you have fun, Chris? Get, oh, yeah. Getting hot, huh? Yeah, now I gotta catch my first river salmon. That's right. So, we'll be out again, guys. Try and get more. So much fun being out here, I love it. So we're gonna go ahead and head in. Don't forget, giveaway. So what you gotta do is guess the weight of the salmon. I'm gonna give you guys another look on it. When we get on shore, I'm gonna take it out of the bag. I'll show you again. Uh, little hint, it was not nearly as big as we thought it was when we pulled it out. So uh, not, not a 25 pounder like we were hoping. 
Um, so yeah, you're gonna win the scale, whoever's closest. So if your guess is 22.98, put 22.98, that'll be your guess. So two decimal places. Um, it's not as hard as you think because you can look at the comments, see what other people picked, right? So elimination basically, you only get one pick. So if you go first, you have a chance of winning. If you wait longer, you can see what people guess, but hey, you might run out of time and someone else might beat you to it. So I'm gonna be looking actively for when someone uh, comments for the right answer there. So hey, thanks for checking out this video. Uh, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more fun fishing videos. Let's go put the boat on land and show you the fish. All right guys, well here's the fish. Take a look at it. How many pounds is it? It's pretty close to my body, I'm not holding it out. So guess its weight, put it in the comments. As soon as I see the winner, we'll do the giveaway. So that's female with the eggs and everything. When I weighed it on the boat, Chris and I got the measurement or the weight. So we're gonna go by that. All right, wait for someone to win it. We'll give you that scale.